Okay, in this video we're checking out another motor here from HGLRC. This is the uh, 227 kV motor. And uh, this has been out for a little while. I don't, haven't seen too many reviews on it. And they're not really heavily promoting this motor for some reason. Obviously this is a low kV 6S motor here. Uh, looks a lot like 2306, the purple one that I reviewed before. Hollow shaft and you got a C-clip on the bottom. with a little collar here for the motor wire. Uh, yeah. Very, very nice looking magnets. I believe they're curved and very tight air gap. It's a very smooth motor. I've already flown this. Uh, it's a very, very powerful motor. Uh, and what I did is I actually put it on my Batman. If you guys weren't aware, the Batman is 6S ready. So the Batman came as a uh, 4S out of the box with the, the purple 2306 motors and uh, the stack that's in here, the uh, Titan F460 stack. The ESC flight controller, video transmitter, were all four uh, were all 6S ready, so it was a very easy swap to just pull off the old motors, put on the new ones, and we did have to retune it a little bit. Um, you'll see that in a flight time. We'll talk about that. Just basically lowered the gains, and uh, I actually came out with a pretty decent tune on the first guess, and it flew amazing. Uh, uh, it flew the same 1,000 milliamp hour China Hobby Line 6S light boat that I flew before. Uh, on the other 6S demo on the Ever Everwing Beast, I believe. So if you want to check out how that battery performs compared to um, the Batman versus the the Beast, uh, I'll put a card in the corner to that video if you want to check that out. But this is a uh, 2207 motor, not a 2306 motor. And for whatever reason, it seems like a lot of the 6S motors that are coming out now are 2207 size for whatever reason. So anyway, uh, can't really see much at the top of the motor. You can just see it, you know, the windings are pretty nice. Overall, this is a very solid motor. Pretty thick wires here. And they, interestingly enough, the gauge of the wire here is actually thicker on a lower key motor than the, I think, the 2306 motor that was on there previously. So I'm not really sure why you need a thicker gauge wire when you have a lower key motor. Usually they draw less amps, so whatever. This is very long. It's, um, let's see, we got probably almost six inches of motor wire. And yeah, I had to cut some of it off, and I still had extra left over, so no no, no need to worry about uh, not even having enough motor wire length. They have provided plenty, but it's also, if you use all this, it's going to add a little weight. So let's see how much this thing weighs with the motor wire. Yeah, coming in at exactly 35 grams, so yeah, obviously the, the extra weight of the motor wire here um, does have a bit of a factor. It's kind of heavy gauge, and it's very long, so if you cut some of that off, I think you probably shave a few grams off. Anyway, if you're interested in this motor, uh, HGLRC has just opened up uh, recently a Amazon store, so they're going to be stocking a lot of their uh, flight controllers, uh, ESCs, and motors and parts and stuff in their store, and you can get it locally if you're in the United States via Amazon Prime, and that's how they sent this to me. Uh, the prices are a little bit higher than they are if you get it from their Chinese store, of course, because um, I think that they're accounting for uh, shipping costs and probably tariffs, that kind of stuff. So if you if you notice the, the price comparison to what you can pay in the Chinese store versus the Amazon store, it is a little bit higher, but you are going to get it a lot faster because they're shipping it from the Amazon warehouse uh, wherever they wherever the Amazon warehouse. Like they have several uh, uh, throughout the United States. So if you're looking to get HGLRC parts a bit faster, then definitely check out their store. I'll put a link to the motor, which is in their store, as well as uh, a link to the store itself with the other parts. If you're interested in other HGLRC parts uh, from the Amazon store, anyway. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll uh, show you some flight demo footage and oh by the way I'm going to have this motor in another build this is going to be <laughs> more parts from their Amazon store it's going to be their uh, uh, I think it's a F460 Titan stack that they sent in a uh, Amazon uh, produced or Amazon procured frame that I bought in that Nova clone so yeah I'm going to be doing that build soon also a 6S build with this motor and yeah that should be interesting as a freestyle versus this sort of a racing type of frame so Anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and show you the flight demo footage. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some different PIDs from the fourth set because um, it's uh, going up in voltage, so I'm going to drop down these PIDs quite a bit. So 45, I'm going to drop it down to 25. Uh, I, I think I can leave alone. D, I'm going to drop down as well. It's 28 to, let's try 18. These are just guesses on my part here. Uh, pitch D. Uh, try to drop down to 20. 
three, and then pitch P. Drop that down quite a bit. Let's go all the way down to like 30 something. Let's try 34. And, and yaw P, we'll drop that down as well. Uh, start off at like, let's try 50. And let's see how that does. All right. Okay, that's not bad. Random guesses on my part. Yeah. Ooh, this thing's got a lot of power. So these are the 2207-1775 KV motors. Wow. Oh yeah, it's pretty crazy when you go full throttle the, at the top end. Pretty nuts. Uh, actually, these pits are a little bit on the loose side, but I think you could probably just up those gains just a tad on your setup. I think you'll be fine. Yeah, this is pretty sick. Very floaty, lots of power. So what I'm looking for here on this, um, using the same 1S, or sorry, 6S LiPo that I normally use, trying to get maybe a little bit better flight time than I did on the 4S setup with the 23, I think they're 2306 motors. Yeah, this is really smooth. Yeah, this is actually really smooth. Better than I expected. Thought I had to sit here and do a whole bunch of tuning, but nope. Got to hand it to HGLRC. They got some smooth motors, and I think that makes a big difference in the tuning. If you have some nice motors, your tuning is going to be a lot easier. Oh, it says more power than I'm willing to use here. This is just a crazy amount of power. Yeah, this is actually really smooth here. I just changed those pids from the flight that I did a while back on the 4S setup. I haven't flown this Batman a whole lot. I haven't had time. There's too many miles have been coming in across my desk. Just a ton of models. I'm really behind. Yeah, even, even on the hard turns, very little prop wash. Yeah, this uh, motor is really responsive. And hardly any oscillations at all. I don't see anything. I don't hear anything either. Yeah. So 22 volts at three minutes and oh, three and a half minutes. That's pretty sick. more throttle here to try and kill this battery off. Wow, I'm still at 21.7, 21.8. If you're like, if you're just cruising around with this thing, man, you're going to get some like super long flight times on this. This is only a 1000 milliamp hour 6S. This is pretty nice. It's 
Still at 21.6. Five minutes of flight time. I am getting a little bit bored. Look at that hang time, it's ridiculous. Eye gain seems to be pretty good too. It's not drifting hardly at all at the top of the power loop. So yeah, I think you should go with these numbers. Not bad for first guess. And I'm uh, at five and a half minutes and I'm, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and end the flight here. Tw uh, 21 volts. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. I like these motors. I like them.